Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video will be all about my worst purchases of this year. I just uploaded my best purchases video, so if you're curious, go check it out. I'll make sure I link it above. But we make purchases that don't work for us sometimes, so I'm here to share with you what didn't work for me, what I didn't use. Some of the pieces I'll talk about I have sold even, but others are still here in my collection and I just haven't used enough, so they made it uh, to my worst purchases of 2022, so if you're curious, keep watching. As always, I'll split this video into categories, so I'll start with handbags, because I feel that handbags is always the most exciting topic, so I have sold two bags and I have one here with me that I'm not using, and can you guys guess which one it is? This stunning baby that I've been wanting for such a long time, I was after a baby blue bag in the most perfect shade. You guys know I'm very specific about uh, the colors. It has to be the right shade. And when I saw this one, my SA offered this to me. She sent me a picture. She knew <laughs> that I was after a baby blue bag. I've been talking about a baby blue bag with her for, I don't know how many <laughs> months, even year, probably over a year. And when she received this, she sent me a picture and she was like, I think I received your perfect baby blue bag. And I went to see it the same day. I was so excited. And it is the perfect shade of blue. I really, really love it. However, what I've realized is that blue isn't really my color, I think. As much as I love it, especially in this shade of blue, it's like a powdery blue. Um, I don't think it works for me. It doesn't really work so well with my wardrobe. I have other pastel colored bags that I love and I wear a lot. This one I've used only once since I got it, one time. And maybe another reason is because it's lambskin, it's quite delicate and it's a light color, so I'm kind of scared of color transfer. I have to only wear it with lighter colored clothing, so maybe that's another reason I don't reach for this one. On the other hand, I did buy actually from the same collection, I believe they were, the Baby Blue Heart Bag in the mini size. It's the exact same shade of blue and I've reached for that a lot more. I'm not sure why, um, but this one I've only used once. I haven't even taken off the stickers, which is not a good sign, but um, for now I'll keep it because I love my minis, they're very hard to get and I'm not ready to part ways with this cutie, hopefully I'll get to use it more um, this year, next year I mean, so yeah, we'll see, for now it's staying, I'm not selling it. The next two bags I'll talk about, I actually sold already, actually one of them I think is still available, but um, I'll start with the Chanel one because it's another shocker maybe. Um, it didn't work for me, the Tweed Mini from the 22P collection. I absolutely love this bag. It was one of the most beautiful bags ever. Um, it is such a unique tweed. Um, the color was stunning. The hardware with the little charms, with the aged yellow gold hardware. It was absolute perfection. However, I never really reached for the bag. Again, I think I wore it once. And I knew when I was buying it, um, I don't really reach for pink bags either. I think they're way too girly. So that was the case with this one. It, it was just way too pretty and way too girly for me and my style. As much as I loved it, I just felt so guilty for not using it because it's such a stunning piece and I love using my stuff when I buy, especially handbags, they're so expensive, I like to use them and wear them, so um, yes, I do have some bags that I don't reach for as often, but the pink one I knew it won't get used at all, probably, and it will just stay there for like 
display only because it's pretty so I decided to let it go and a lovely subscriber bought it uh, from me I don't regret selling it although it was such a special bag and I know that if I ever wanted to get it back again it, it was probably gonna be mission impossible because it's such a special seasonal bag so by the way I do have a closet account on Instagram so I'll make sure I link that below I will probably list some more items in the new year that I'm not using so keep an eye out you can give me a follow there and then we have bag number three that is again no longer in my collection and again it might be a bit of a surprise for some of you because I absolutely loved this bag when I unboxed it I was so excited it is the Louis Vuitton pastel on the go. Every time I wore this bag and I really actually enjoyed the size, it was a new size for me because I do have the larger on the go. I really enjoyed this smaller on the go size. It was great for everyday use and it had a very comfortable shoulder strap, it had the little pouch which was so adorable. I put my headphones in there um, so yeah, I loved the bag, I loved the size, however, every time I reached for this bag, I felt like a kid, I don't know, it was, it was very, to me, the print and the colorway, I think I mentioned it in um, one of my videos when I reviewed the bag, I'll make sure I link it above, it, it felt a bit childish, I, I think it didn't suit my style as much, again, it was very girly, way too pretty pretty for my style if you know what i mean so um yeah it didn't really work with my wardrobe again it was a bit more trickier to style i had to only wear it with very plain clothes no prints i believe it's actually still available for sale if it is i'll make sure i link it above i consigned it with a papillon kia all right so next i actually have another louis purchase that was a bit stupid. I still love it. I think it's so adorable. It's my uh, Nano. Is this the Nano size? I think that was the Nano. So it's BB, Mini and Nano, right? Um, so yeah, I do have all three sizes and that's the reason I wanted this. I was obsessed at one point. I have been searching for this for so many months and I was like, oh, why can I not find it? It's impossible to find it. <laughs> and I wanted to complete my collection and have all the sizes. So yeah, that's really the reason I bought it, just so I have the complete uh, niece uh, family. Um, but it is very impractical. I don't really use it at all. So yeah, the other two sizes that are bigger than this uh, very practical and I love them. This, honestly, I, I, I don't know what to do with. I, I don't know what to use it for, so it's just staying uh, near my vanity for decoration, but I'm not gonna sell it, I'll just keep it because I like to have the full niece collection and it's so adorable, but if you have any ideas how to use it, I know it can be converted as a bag as well. I think I have a clip so I'll show you how it looks as a bag. It, it, it's just there for, you know, house decor. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't get used, uh, it's not practical at all. But yeah, if you have any ideas what I can use it for, let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, so our next category is jewellery. I have two costume jewellery pieces that I kind of regret buying. And the first one is this stunning pair of Chanel earrings, the dangly heart earrings. When they released them, I wanted all the styles. Um, so you guys know I bought the hoops, the studs and these, and they are all the same. They're from the same collection. They're the exact same design with the same heart shape. So yeah, when they launched them, I wanted them all, but to be honest, I knew when I was buying them that I don't really reach for my dangly, uh, like, drop earrings as much. I love wearing hoops, you guys know hoops are my favourite style of earrings, and I love the uh, plain studs. But dangly drop earrings I don't really wear as much, so... Yeah, maybe I could have saved some money because these were quite pricey and to buy another pair instead. And then another not so great purchase was this Hermes Click H bracelet. I love the colour and that's the reason I bought it. I'm a bit over the 
H uh, bracelet, H enamel bracelets. I do prefer um, some of their other enamel bracelets with the other hardware, not with the H. They have so many other designs now. I believe they will be also releasing enamel bracelet with the Kelly lock. I'm so excited about these. I'll definitely buy them because I love the colors they release. Such beautiful colors. But very often they would release some of the best colors in the H bracelets just because people love them, they're the most popular. Uh, but I'm just a bit over the um, H bracelets as I mentioned. I have a few other ones and I bought it only because of the color. If this color was available in any of the other enamel styles, I would have bought it, but um, yeah. Okay, two more categories. I'll talk about ready to wear next because I have only one ready to wear piece. This I kind of regret buying, this swimsuit. It is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. It is from the same collection as the on the go. I haven't worn it. It still has tags on. I am not sure if I should sell it. I know it will sell because this was a very, very hot piece and Louis Vuitton swimsuits always, always sell out. They're quite hard to get. Um, so when they launched this collection, I actually pre-ordered this because I knew it would be a hot seller. And I, I was very happy that I managed to get it. I thought I might use it as a uh, bodysuit in the summer. I haven't worn it as a bodysuit. I think I'll only use it as a swimsuit if I go on holiday, but I don't really go to uh, like beach holidays. So I prefer city breaks, city holidays, <laughs> but I don't really go very often to the beach. Uh, I don't really like uh, sunbathing that much. So yeah, maybe it wasn't the smartest purchase for me. Um, it was quite pricey, but yeah, I'll see. I um, I don't think I'll sell it for now because I think it's so, so pretty and I'm still hoping maybe if I go to the beach next year, I'll, I'll use it, but um, who knows? Um, yeah, we'll see. If I don't use it next summer, I'll definitely sell it then, but for now it's staying in my wardrobe, but yeah, it just wasn't the smartest purchase. <laughs> and the last category is shoes. I'll start with... Here is another piece from that same pastel collection. All three pieces that I bought from this collection didn't really work for me. I haven't used at all. These are brand new guys, brand new. And it breaks my heart because I thought I would wear these a lot in the summer. I bought these before I even bought the swimsuit and the bag. I bought these to wear with my lilac Chanel bag because I thought the color will match. I thought my pink classic flap would match. And I bought them because they were girly and I had some, you know, girly pink bags that I could wear them with in the summer. I haven't worn them a single time and oh, I'm so annoyed at myself. They're very comfortable. They're very classic. Um, style from Louis and these are this special edition color very very pretty monogram but you know although they're monogram I loved this collection because the monogram is quite subtle um, it doesn't pop as much because it's like in the same pastel colors so it kind of blends in um, but yeah very pretty unfortunately brand new <laughs> I really hope I would get to use these next year in the spring because again they're brand new i haven't reached for them i got these i have this weird obsession you guys know i love to match my shoes and my bags and when i saw these i was like yep i need them they're the exact same color as my uh, chanel classic flap in the minty color i have two more three more pairs of this style in different colors so i know i love the style and it's very flattering on it's very comfortable i can walk miles in these i'm not sure why i haven't reached for this color maybe because i have so many shoes <laughs> next we have these and these are still in the box even so i got these at the end of the summer and that's the reason i never wore them 
To be honest, I don't even think I've unboxed these officially on my channel. I think I uploaded a short video here on YouTube and I showed these and unboxed them on my Instagram stories. And I haven't worn them since then, since I unboxed them basically. I really wanted a pair of Renica Vila shoes. I got so obsessed with uh, um, their shoes. But it was the end of the summer already and I knew I shouldn't buy them. <laughs> I know some of the colorways that they release go on sale, um, but this is like a classic colorway. It's one of their best sellers, so they never go on sale in this color. So I got them from Farfetch 10% off and I was like, I'll wear them. If not now, I'll wear them next year. But yeah, I could have just waited. I could have bought them next summer because um, yeah, they're still box fresh, haven't used them. I can't even give you a review if they're comfortable or not, but hopefully I will use them next summer because they are so pretty and the color is beautiful. And the last pair of shoes that I kind of regret buying are uh, these fresh Louboutin heels from Bista Village. I have to be very careful when it comes to like sales. It's very sometimes tempting <laughs> to buy um, luxury items when you see them like very discounted. And I saw these, I thought they were pretty, but they don't really work <laughs> for my wardrobe. So from now on, when I go to an outlet or to a sale, I try to be very careful. I actually recently went, um, the video is coming up soon, but I recently went to a Louboutin sample sale and initially I grabbed four pairs of shoes. I'm so glad I only ended up buying one pair because um, now that I think of it, yeah, they were great. They were very discounted, but I have so many shoes and I would have regretted later. So I find that I'd rather spend money on new season shoes that I need rather than um, just buy something out season that's very discounted and that doesn't really work for my wardrobe so yeah they're pretty but these are definitely sales so um, yeah, if you want them they'll be on my closet account and I completely forgot to include these because I actually already sold them. These are the Colibri shoes, another pair that I got on sale, very, very discounted. So I do regret buying them. I knew I wouldn't wear them because they are the higher heel version. You guys know I prefer the lower style Colibri shoes. They're one of my best purchases. I have a few other pairs in the lower heel. Okay guys, that's all. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which are your worst purchases of 2022. Let me know which are your top three or top five purchases that didn't work for you. I'd love to hear. So let's chat in the comments. Stay tuned for my next video. It will be my new MS bag from the store. I'm so excited to show you. It's such a stunning, unique color. So I'm very excited to show you. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye guys!